It's good for positive energy. Um, and just it's a mood enhancer, which is pretty cool too. <laughs> Hey guys, it's Terry. So great to see you. How's your heart? I hope it's well. I hope your heart is doing well. Can I get any cheesier? I mean, maybe. Maybe I can get cheesier. I don't know. Cheesy Terry. Hmm. Sounds better than scary Terry. I'll take it. Well, guess what? We got ourselves a product review. Yay! So I'm excited to share my experience here with you, so we'll see what that's like. Yes, yes. Um, I purchased this product. I didn't win it. <laughs> Excuse me while I choke in front of you. Uh, I didn't win it. Uh, it's not endorsed or sponsored. It's something I actually purchased, and it is from Trader Joe's, you guys. Trader Joe's is one of my favorite places. Target and then Trader Joe's, one of my favorite places. So this is an essential oil collection with wool diffuser. How cool is that? So this is aromatherapy, folks, aromatherapy. If I remember correctly, this was under 10 bucks. I think it was like $7.99 or something like that. It comes with three bottles and one wool diffuser. Now I have never used a wool diffuser before. I usually use the traditional ones that have like the little, little, what looks like a bowl at the top where you mix in some water and the essential oil and then you light a tea light at the bottom or a candle and through the heat, it burns out the oil, which gives you the aromatherapy. Well, this has a wool diffuser. So I've never used that before. So I'm excited to try this. It's got three flavors. I should say scents. It's got eucalyptus, lemon, and lavender. Uh, so, you know, lavender is good for relaxation, okay? It's a pleasant aroma to help you ease and unwind from your long day. The lemon gives you energy, zest, right? So it's a pick-me-up. Uh, it's good for positive energy um, and just it's a mood enhancer, which is pretty cool too. And the last one is a eucalyptus. It's invigorating and it promotes a feeling of relaxation and clarity. So it's different than the lavender because the lavender is more soothing where um, even though eucalyptus is refreshing, it's kind of revitalizing in the brain for clarity So and refreshment. So there's a little bit of a difference, although they still have the same energetic frequency of relaxation. So that's pretty cool. Um, so let's go ahead. Oh, and it also says that it's not tested on animals. So that's pretty freaking cool. Uh, guys, this is also just so you know, this is not made for topical use. If you're going to use any essential oil for topical use, you want to make sure you have a carrier oil with it, like almond oil or jojoba oil. Um, what a carrier oil does is it helps break down the chemistry so that your skin doesn't get annoyed or irritated um, in case you're allergic to it. And um, that also helps moisturize skin. So if you're gonna use it for massage or anything else, you wanna use a, a carrier oil, not, ah! <laughs> Not just these guys, okay? So let's open this up. Good on you, Trader Joe's. This is exciting. It smells, it's an, it's an interesting smell because it's got all three scents kind of blending in, but let's see. Okay, all right. So this is this, ooh, there's a little beaker, a glass beaker. So these are the diffusers. Ooh, wait, this is interesting. Okay, I'm not sure I like this. Already, I'm not sure I like this. Uh row. Here's the, oh wait, no, yes. Hmm, here's why I don't like this. Okay, it comes with a beaker, a glass beaker, which is cool, so it comes with that. But there's only one, and this thing is all together. Like, I wasn't sure what this would be like, but it's all together. Fine, I guess you've, you, and we're gonna we're gonna try it out. I'm gonna try it out for show. 
But here's my concern. You, you put in the oil, you put this in to help diffuse, which is really great. But what happens if another day you want to use another oil, but you only get one diffuser? Like what's the dealio, Trader Joe's? Add three to four drops to the wool balls. Leave diffuser partially out of the glass for best aromatic use. So you can put this, you can put these, here, let me get these out. Like, ah, they people proof them too. How am I supposed to? Okay. I also have tendinitis, so it's hard for me to like use my hand to grab it. Okay. All right. Okay, so you can put this under your pillow. You can add a few drops to the wool diffuser and place under linen or pillow before bed. Okay, fine, thank you, directions. You can use it in the bath oils. So yeah, these you can use in your bath oil, like your the essential oils, you just kind of drip them in. Totally fine to do that, about three or four drops. Actually, what I really love is when I make, um, I don't bathe very often. I don't, I'm just not, I don't like to bathe. I'm a shower girl. Um, a hot tub's a whole other story. But when I do take a bath, it's typically a salt bath and I'll put in one cup of Epsom salt, one cup of baking soda, and like several drops of lavender oil, okay? So you can do like a few drops of lavender oil if you're gonna take a bath. Yeah, again, if you're gonna use this with massage oil, you're gonna want a carrier oil, and then you've got your diffuser, but like how do you clean the diffusers? There's nothing here about, there's nothing on here about like, do you dry out the diffuser? Like, cause if I use, if I use eucalyptus now, eucalyptus is like really strong, right? And maybe later in the day I wanna use lavender. So it only comes with one of these and it doesn't tell me where I can get more balls. Cause we all want several balls, right? So I'm already not sure. I'm already not sure I like this. I mean, it would be great for a one-time use. I mean, and then how do you clean this? Do you put this in the dishwasher? Do you hand wash it? Can you put it in the laundry? Um, Trader Joe's, I was all excited, but now you've left me with so many questions. It does not say anything about how to like keep it going, how to maintain it, like how to use it again in the future. All right, so we're gonna use it. And I think I'm just gonna use, um, Lavender. I'm a little bummed about it, but I am just opening up the lavender. See, lavender. And it, and I guess, because what does it say? How does it say to do it? Add a, f well, that's for bedtime relaxation. Wool diffuser, add three to four drops to the wool balls. Leave diffuser partially out of glass for best aromatic use. It still doesn't tell me shit. I mean, I'm like, which end do I leave it in? I mean, this end, it, this is, this, the, this ball is the biggest right here. So I guess I'm just gonna pull on the balls, but it says leave it out. I don't know. So which ball do I use? I mean, I'm just gonna use this ball because it says to leave it out. So weird. I don't know. I'm, I'm kind of not happy with this. So put that there. I got some, I got, I put some stuff on the balls, the ball, and then I'm just gonna leave it out. It says leave partially out. So this is it. I mean, I can smell it when I, put it close to my face. Mm. Trader Joe's, dude. I'm not sure I like this very much. It's not that I don't like it, it's just that I don't think it's, I, it's probably okay for a one-time use. I mean, I, you maybe I have to just let it sit. I don't see how this is gonna smell up an entire room, like using it the traditional way with a regular diffuser. Um, I think that, would get a bigger space. I mean, do I have to just hold this? Do I have to like build an attachment to my glasses to like smell it all the time? I don't know. I will say that I kind of feel this is a disappointment. Wah, wah, wah. Well, they can't all be winners, right? 
the good news, here's the good news. We can make this versatile because at least we have pretty good amount, 0.33 ounces of three different kinds of oils. So you at least get those. That, and those are versatile. You can use carrier oil. You can put them in um, your bath. You can put them in your laundry. So at least there's that. Yeah, at least there's that. So it's not a total fail. It's just a fail, I think, in the way that they're presenting it or marketing it. I gotta tell you, I don't, you know. Um, would I buy this? Actually, to tell you the truth, I mean, first of all, I did. But would I buy it again? I would buy it again if I needed the oils because that's where the deal is in the, in the resourcefulness and the usefulness of being able to use these in several ways. So I do think it's worth it for the oil, but for the way that they're presenting it, no, no, I wouldn't. So, you know, again, it's up to you, but at least it wasn't that expensive and it was, uh, you know, an experiment, just like everything. I consider myself a mad scientist with so many things in so many ways. I would not use this as an alternative healing tool. Uh, I just don't think it's a big enough uh, tool or anything like that. So um, I hope it was recording. I just got like a sign that said, low battery. Um, I wouldn't use it for, for any healing anything, that's for sure. Um, I wouldn't use it as real aromatherapy to smell up a room. Um, I mean, I guess you could put this under your pillow at night and at least that would be there. But I would, I would be using this differently than the way it's actually presented. So there you go, that's my personal opinion. You do you, boo. What am I always saying to you? Stay connected. Stay connected to your friends and family. Stay connected to yourself. And of course, you can stay connected to me. Maybe you want a reading with me. I'd love to give you a reading. You can book that directly online through my site, terryhuberman.com, and I'll see ya on the flip side.